You guys should know who this is. <laughs> that guy, Mar. Man, you guys don't even know. I've been watching his videos for a long time, like since I was like 14, which is about two years ago. Do you plan on doing forced induction in the Stang? Okay. Yep, you guys are probably wondering who is Alex is noise. Well, before Alex SVT, Alex was noise. <laughs> that was me on that guy Martin's video about two years ago. Um, I asked him a question about if his car or if he wanted to boost his 5 0, which obviously he did. And he explained in the video that he wasn't, that he's going to get a GT500. So he still better get that GT500. <laughs> Installing his new clutch, same one as I have. We're going to pause that real quick. You guys should go follow that guy, Mar. And you know, I've been watching him for a long time. He's a big inspiration to me as, as to why I started my channel. So like I was saying, that guy Mar is a big inspiration to me. That dude in blue, TJ Hunt, all those people, they're kind of like what made me try and make my channel, I guess. But I'm gonna get a quick cut, like I said, and then we will talk about what's been done to the Cobra over this past year. It's been stock, and I did a few things to it, so uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Gotta fill this puppy up. All right, what do you guys think about getting gas for a cheaper price if it's at a different location? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's this place right down the street from me. It's kind of expensive. Uh, it's like three fifty nine, which is eh, it's whatever. I don't know. It's three fifty nine here, or I can go like somewhere else to get a better price. But you know, you're just wasting more gas going somewhere else. So like, I mean, I don't know. That's just my logic, but you guys can. Uh, figure that out on um, what you guys I don't know I'm just asking you guys what do you guys do? I'll put a poll do you, would you guys travel for a cheaper gas or pay like a few extra cents just to go down the street and get gas so we're gonna fill this up real quick I'm gonna get like quick $30 and uh, we'll see you guys soon I never said passenger side <sighs> Chevron or shell I usually put shell if I can but this is what I got Okay, so I thought I'd do a little voiceover for you guys. So basically, I got the Cobra back in early February of 2018. I'll, I'll insert some clips from the video. If you guys haven't watched that, I'll put a card up in the corner. As I'm talking, I'm just going to be putting some clips over so you guys can check it out about what has been done to the Cobra over this past year because I've done a lot, but I've done a little, if that makes sense. I haven't done like the most most, but I haven't done anything you know i haven't been stuck so first i probably want to address the car did come with a smaller pulley it was a 2.8 pulley and a metco idler and a canin air intake you guys tell me hey, jlt hook me up give me a ram air intake because abraham keeps telling me that blah 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 it's not a cold air intake long story short a lot of people run it on their cars and it seems to work fine the canin um filter intake aside from that so one of the first things that i did i believe was get i think i got the mgw short shifter so you guys won't be able to see that but i wanted to do that because i thought i was missing gears because of my shifter long story short uh it wasn't the clutch was pretty much fucked up to the max <laughs> so i find that out later after the shifter i got rovo's durbins um, that's what completely changed the character of the car. I love it. The look was amazing. You know, a lot of people say, hey, yeah, people run the Rovers Derbins and whatnot, but I think my car pulls it off really nice. And I think it complements the car very well, fits the body lines. And yeah, 
so that's one of the reasons why I went with those and I think the next thing that I did were I think before any of that I did LEDs from Amazon from JDM a star I think they got an Instagram I did LED bulbs inside the cabin uh, outside the fog lights I just haven't done the reverse lights so I need to do those but aside from that, they're, they're all LEDs pretty much. And they change the complete character of the car when you're rolling down at night, you know. Uh, makes the car look a lot newer and more revamped pretty much. And so leading on to the next thing, I did the Magic Drift front lip. Now, there's a lot of controversy with this lip. Yeah, I get the OEM, blah, blah, blah. You know, I wanted to try it out. I thought it looked good initially. I might go back to OEM. I'm not too sure unless Magic Drift comes out with a V2 or something. Um, I'm going to go with those and then maybe get some carbon driven side skirts uh, and call it a day at that. So we'll see. Um, I like the look right now, but, you know, I might switch it up. So after that, I believe I did the tinted Raxium taillights and those made the rear end look a lot cleaner in my opinion um i wish they're maybe a little bit darker but overall they're pretty good so i have no complaints and then um it's kind of probably going to go out of order but i had got some clear corner headlights initially i had some black tinted ones and i rocked those for a while they look really nice but uh they were just way too dark and i couldn't see at night when i turned on my lights so they were kind of pointless because of that. I also forgot to mention I did get Borla attacks and got rid of my old Magna Flow cat back that came with the car. And yeah. Way better. Oh, okay. <laughs> also, one of the first things I did to the car was tinted windows. Yes, I know. I know. I need to get my rear tint redone. I got it done for the low, so I'm just gonna get it done by a really good tinter that I had. I had my dad's three valve done by him and he did a phenomenal job so i'll go back to him and the next cosmetic thing that i did was pretty much the cdc styling bar and that's a must have for any convertible in my opinion it makes the car look way better when the top is down um and it just makes the car look complete when the top is down because top up yeah but when top the top is down it just looks really good so I recommend getting one of those. It wasn't too, too hard. It wasn't too, too easy. So we'll move on to mechanical stuff. We had installed the McLeod RST clutch thanks to the help of Abraham. I'll link his Instagram on this. And he helped me do it. I didn't want to pay a shop to do it. We saved a good chunk of money doing the install ourselves. It was a bitch though. I hated doing it. Um, definitely have someone who knows experience or who has experience with a clutch i didn't know anything about it but the concept is pretty easy it's just the nitpicky things like getting bolts at the top of the bell housing stuff like that it's a pain in the ass and so i also got an accufab throttle body at the time of the clutch and it, it's cool i don't know i mean it makes some good sounds um i had some drivability issues with the pedal sticking i sent it back to them and I don't know I, I might switch to like maybe an lfp throttle body not too sure uh so that's also one of my gripes about that and that's pretty much it to be honest uh i definitely still have a big build list for the cobra in the future um you know weld wheels maybe whipple supercharger but before any of that you know i'm gonna have to get another car i don't want to drive a whipple supercharged cobra every day that's a little bit much but uh, i'm sure it can be doable but those are some of the things i mean i'm pretty sure i clicked i touched on everything pretty much like i said it wasn't a lot it wasn't a little and so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy watching enjoyed watching this video and i want you guys to subscribe for more content share with your friends share with everyone uh, i know you guys like the two-step reaction so i'll start doing more of those more high school reactions stuff like that so like i said please subscribe leave a like leave a comment Tell me guys what you think about what I should do for the Cobra and whatnot. But with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a great day.